Hello and welcome to be our reviews October of Terror. Today we'll be re-reviewing the R.I.P. Horror Collector Series Crypt Keeper. So yeah, this was uh, like one of the last things I reviewed with my terrible camera like a year and a half ago or however long ago that was. But uh, yeah, definitely need to re-review this because it, it is a pretty cool item. It talks. It's not really a figure. It's more like a a doll or a plush or something. It's got softness to it. Uh, anyway, it's it's a pretty cool thing. So let's go ahead and zoom in for the uh, the, the sculpt and the pain and the, the sounds and all those sorts of things. Alright, here we have Crypt Keeper and start off with a quick size comparison, although I have to do it a bit differently because he's so damn massive. Uh, here is a Marvel Universe figure. It's Wolverine. And then here is a Marvel Legends size figure, which is Hellboy. So you can tell that he is a uh, he's pretty large. He's uh, 18 inches, I think. Maybe it's bigger than that. I don't remember. But a very large um, Crypt Keeper here. Apart from that, he's got his head up here, which we'll zoom in on in a minute. He's got this uh, big tuft of faux gray hair. Actually, if you flip it over on the back there, you can see it's only, uh, it's only like, s attached at the very front. So there's nothing actually on the back there. And then of course he's got his suit, he's got his little tie here, this is all full cloth and stuff. And he's uh, he's soft, he's like a plushy thing, so he's filled with like cotton or something like that. Little flower there, little silver buttons here. He's got his hands here, this one's sort of a pointing position. And then this is a big open hand here. Come down, just pretty plain black pants. And he's got some feet down here at the bottom, with detailed toenails and things like that. Uh, on the back, nothing particularly special, pretty much just the back of a black suit. He does have tails back here. And uh, that's pretty much the extent of his appearance. It's pretty much just Crypt Keeper in a tuxedo. Let's zoom in on the head really quick. All right, here's the head sculpt. Uh, the first time I reviewed this, I complained a bit about the face sculpt. But in better lighting, I actually can see a reasonable amount of slight paint detail inside the mouth. His eyes look really good. He does have some slight variation in the more mutilated parts of his face. And it's all sculpted very well. I still think the paint detail could be a bit better. But it's uh, it's probably better than I said it was the first time I reviewed it. Anyway, that's his head sculpt. Let's uh, zoom out and we'll look at his features and his uh, articulation, if you can call it that. Articulation-wise, uh, the Crypt Keeper doesn't actually have any like proper, true points of articulation. He has wire frames in the arms, so you can sort of bend those around in whatever position you want to, and you can accidentally make him talk, and he's got those in his legs as well, so you can bend those around in whatever way you want to. And like you just may have heard, uh, he does have some spoken phrases, so let's let you listen to those real quick. Ready for your bedtime story, kitty? So yeah, he says those things. The audio quality is reasonable. It's not a bad speaking and talkie box thing. And uh, that's really pretty much it. He doesn't come with any accessories. So let's move on to his packaging. As you can see, it does come in a very tall box. It takes up like all of my reviewing area. Uh, Tales from the Crypt up here. Very long, tall window. You can see like everything. Then Crypt Keeper's down there at the bottom. It's got a try me hole. R.I.P. Collector Horror Series. Uh, it's numbered, but it's a really high number, so... They're not incredibly rare. It says Tales from the Crypt on the side, and on the back it's got some pictures of the Crypt Keeper. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's a very nice display box. It is very big, but it it's not significantly smaller than how much space it would take up to just have him sitting around. So uh, it's pretty good for in or out of package display. So yeah, Crypt Keeper. All right, the rest of it up for the Crypt Keeper. So until next time, bye-bye. Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels. Venom Raptor, for all my variety gaming content, and VR reviews, for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.